So this is the new Little Guy Max trailer. It's only 21 feet long. It only weighs 3,140 pounds, six foot seven interior height. It's very spacious. Now, by the way, if you wanna see our videos right when they come out, just hit the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we always love your comments. I cannot wait to show you this trailer. This is PJ with Princess Craft RV, and today I have the pleasure of showing you around the brand new Little Guy Max by Liberty Outdoors. It's a great trailer. You're going to love to see the details. So let's start at the door because that's what you're going to see when you first walk in the trailer. So that's where we like to start. One of the cool things about this trailer is that you have two ways to ventilate at the door. One is the screen that comes all the way across. And when it's open, it looks like the framing part of the door on the side. The other thing is right here in the window, you have the ability to open this window as well. So it has the latches. It opens up pretty far actually, and you can tighten it down. So you can open it to whatever level you'd like. And then on the inside, just like the rest of the doors, you'll have a screen and you'll also have a privacy panel. Really nice feature. Great way to start out an entryway of the camper, don't you think? So over here on the right, you've got the controls and plug-ins. The 110 plug-in for your kitchen. You've got the Furion uh, stereo. It's got Bluetooth, CD, DVD player, the on-off switch. It's gonna have three sets of speakers. The speakers can play outside or the front or the back, so that's kind of nice. This is a very nice feature. This actually controls the recess lighting. This top button turns it on and off, and then you have two switches in here that may be hard to see, but they actually will raise and lower the light. It's a dimmer switch. So you can change the mood in the camper to be whatever that you would like. Down here you've got your control panel with your water heater, it's gonna have your uh, electric, the LP gas switch on it. It also has the exterior lights down here on the bottom. Over here, you've got a touch screen monitor panel. If you touch it, it says Liberty Outdoors, but the next touch is gonna give you your monitor levels. The next touch, the battery levels. You don't have to worry about turning it off. It will black out in just a few seconds. So it's a good way to have a quick and easy view of what's going on. You notice down here, before you get away, this is a heater vent. And you'll see one here, and then you'll see one near the front of the trailer, or the back of the trailer, actually, I guess. We're moving towards the front. So you have ducted heating. Very nice feature. Let's move to the dinette in the front of the trailer and take a look at that area. As you come in here, the first thing I notice is the table that looks kind of like a marble table. It is a uh, synthetic material. It's very light. It does have the feature that it swivels down when you want to make it into a bed. So that's a really nice feature. If you look up at the storage, we've got storage up above us here. The recess lighting that I was speaking about, we've got some here and in the kitchen that we'll show you. So this can be dimmed. Right now it is at the brightest level for our video and storage on the far side. There's front speakers in the front corners underneath the shelving. And then you also have reading lights right here in the corner. These reading lights actually go on and off by just simply touching the center of the light. They're LEDs, so they're not hot. They offer you a, a good uh, directed light if you need that for reading, uh, working on the computer, or anything like that you'd be doing at the table. There are also cubbies on both sides here. And space here, now this is solid. Um, there is not storage under here anywhere, but you've got a space here. If you look back here behind me, You'll see there's a panel here that comes off, and you do have a little bit of storage cubby right here behind the dinette. 
Now this piece just sits right back on top, right there in the corner. Let's put that side in first. And the, the back of the dinette leans just back on it. Of course, you've got three windows. All of them are the double-paned windows, and they all open up and swivel just like the front door. So you can push them out as far as you'd like, tighten it down at the desired opening level. They all will have pull-down screens and pull-up privacy panels. So you can get complete fresh air on three sides of this dinette. So that's stellar. Something else that's really interesting is they have a TV. So the 24 inch TV is actually hidden in the front, but comes right up with the push of a button. You have another 24 inch TV in the bedroom. So we'll take a look at that when we get back there. Very cool feature. This one also can come unhooked from the stand here and you can slide it in on your exterior TV mount. So this is the TV that will go inside and outside uh, so you can have access outside very easily. It's all set up for you. Let's, uh, let's move around and take a look at the kitchen. Now the first thing I noticed in the kitchen is this is 100% maple cabinetry. It is a solid hardwood. Very nice cabinets. You can see the space we've got up here above the sink. We've got the recessed lighting running across. That's part of the lighting that I told you was dimmable. So that helps to give your, give your kitchen a little bit of a glow. You've got a, the stainless steel microwave is a nice touch. And underneath, the LED light gives you a direct light down on your counter. So this is separate. Turns on with the switch. This is a big window right behind your sink and stove. It opens completely just like the rest of them with the pull-down screen and the pull-up privacy panel. There is a plastic heavy-duty cutting board slash sink cover that blends into the nice countertop here. When you take that off, you have an 8-inch deep stainless steel sink. Pull-out sprayer. Nice high arc here on the faucet, which makes it very nice to get bigger dishes in and out. So we'll put this back over here. You have a two burner stove. It is the Nometic two burner with the automatic sparker light on it, which is nice. See how it sparks so it lights right up once you turn the handle. And of course, when the glass top is down, you can use it just like a counter space. Let's go to the, the lower cabinets here. This one is going to have just a little bitty slide piece in here. Great for little bitty odds and ends, sink uh, sponges, any kind of things like that that you use. Fit right in there. This is a nice deep cabinet. See if we can get a good look at that. I love the way it's finished out. You do have the, the water lines running through the back of it, but it still gives you plenty of open space back there. I love the silver handles, the nice bars. Moving over here, you've got a big drawer on top, and they have a fitted piece in here for silverware, utensils, anything that you want to throw in here and uh, separate. Now this does come out, so if you don't want that in there, it is removable, but it's always a struggle to find things that fit the right space, so it's nice to have that already made for you. This is the same size drawer underneath, but below that you have a third drawer, which is slightly shorter. Now below that you'll see that's where you have some floor lighting. This floor lighting is also connected to the lighting on the upper cabinetry and the lighting across the front of the trailer. That is the dimmable lighting that has the switch by the door. 
So it's really easy to control the lights in here and just to create whatever type of mood or uh, visibility that you want. Okay, pantry. Let's see if we can take a peek in here. Two shelves. Another one below that. Nice deep pantry. Now these shelves are adjustable. And if we move to this side, again, so much storage. Now they put a hanging bar in the top. So if you wanted to use this entire length for hanging, you could simply take the shelves out, of course. Everyone needs different storage, so there's always choices. There is another great storage space right above the refrigerator here, if we can get a shot of that. You have the stainless steel front on the four cubic foot refrigerator. It is a three-way refrigerator with a pull-down freezer. Three door bins, which is always nice. And a huge drawer underneath. And this has the Liberty Outdoors packet in it that's going to have all of your manuals, all the things that, that go with the trailer will be stored in there. Now if you look underneath, this is going to be the heater vent. You're going to have the carbon monoxide LP detector. And in this cabinet is going to be your breakers and fuses that are on the front of your converter. All very accessible. I don't think this tour will be complete without showing you the storage underneath the bed. It's right in the same area. So I love the flush look right here. And all you do is pull this drawer out and you have a drawer underneath the bed. All right. So before we move into the bedroom area, let's take a peek in the bathroom. On the way there, you'll have your smoke detector. This is going to control your air conditioner and your furnace. Again, it's a touch screen, two different modes, and then a up and down arrows. This is your solar charge controller. You do have on this particular unit a 100 watt ZAMP solar panel on the roof. And that's going to probably keep recharge a full battery in about one day. Great tool to have, so it gives you lots of camping options if you are not the kind that is always in a campground and plugged in. So stepping inside the bathroom, we've got a lock here to lock this door shut so that it stays nice and closed when you're traveling. I love the glass door here. As you step inside, I'm not going to get in there with you because there's not enough room, but it's a pretty spacious bathroom. You've got the three-way fantastic vent on the roof. A mirror as you come in. They've got the shower head that's actually on a pole so you can raise and lower the height of it. There is a soap tray attached there as well which is very handy. You've also got a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. So that's a that's a nice feature to have a porcelain bowl. Okay, I think we've got a good view there. Now the furnace in this is 16,000 BTU. The air conditioner is 13.5. Let me see if I can show you just a few things on the air conditioner. This is a Penguin 2, so it's a low profile, uh, 13,500 BTUs, but I love the way it has the down air feature. This is the quickest way to actually cool your trailer. You can close it off and have the air come out the sides. So every side has an opening. If you want it to blow towards you or blow away from you, or if you want it to just cool as quickly as it can, 
you would close those vents and just open this downspout and it's just going to flood the trailer with air. We do have people who say that air blows straight onto the bed. It's so uncomfortable. And with this, you have control all the way around. Low profile, very efficient, great air conditioner choice. So let's move into the bed area and take a look there. So now we're at the rear of the trailer where you have the queen size bed. So it's a 60 by 80, which is standard queen. It's a five inch mattress. It's really very comfortable, but if you wanted to add to it or replace it, very simple to get something store-bought because it'll fit perfectly. Uh, the first thing that you're going to notice is this large window at the back. Now it opens, and that's very nice, and I'm going to show you real quickly. I know this plastic is a little noisy, but I'm going to show you how that works. This is going to open up, and that is as far as it opens. And then you tighten the handle here, and like all the rest of the windows, you have the privacy that comes up from the bottom and the screen that comes down from the top. Ventilation all throughout this trailer makes it so nice and so comfortable. To set it down, you simply loosen this, comes right in, and then you latch all the handles here. On all of these windows, it's important to note there is a way to latch it slightly open and crack the window, but still have it latched. Uh, so that is nice if you want to just get a, a little bit of air coming in, but you want to be sure that you don't ever latch it there when you're going to travel because that air will get underneath it and it can pull the window right off. So always close them really tight when you close them. Be sure you get all the way in front of those latches. Come on in and let's look at both sides. I had mentioned that there's another 24 inch TV. It's right here in the console on the side. This is going to be the entry side of the trailer. You've got a sound bar at the bottom, a 24 inch TV, and then cubbies all around. What a great system. Very clean looking, very practical to keep all your things in it. The light that's on the roof has a switch right on that light so that you just flip it on and off depending on what you'd like. There's one on each side of this window. But then notice at this side, you have the cubby at the top, another opening window since you don't have TVs and the full cubbies on this side, but then you have two reading lights as well. So if you put the head of the bed over here, you could each have a reading light showing on your book as you're relaxing. And again, these are just the center push to turn off so you don't have any switches in your way. On this front wall right here, a few more cubbies for those things that you will be, you know, maybe looking at your phone at night and you want to charge it while you're laying in bed. You just got a little slot for everything right there with 110 plugs and two USBs. I think we've seen a lot of the interior of this trailer. Why don't we take a look on the outside? So now we're going to take a look at the outside of the Little Guy Max by Liberty Outdoors. The first thing you're going to notice is the style of the trailer. Very modern, really a, a nice design, pretty to look at. Look at this great handle. It's a lighted handle right by the door. We've also got a porch light right above that's the LED that's going to light up this entire side of the trailer as well as a lighted awning. Now it's a six foot three awning that comes out to cover this side of the trailer. Awnings are great, great in the rain, great to keep the sun off of you. Very nice feature. Going down below the door, notice we also have a light on the step. This is a lightweight aluminum step and I like to show that it just folds up and goes in very easily. You don't have to fight with it. And you just lift it up and pull it out, goes right into place. So you're not going to miss a step going into the trailer late at night. Coming this way down the trailer, the, this area is set up to be an entertainment center. So you've got two speakers. Remember we talked about the TV that can come unattached in the front of the dinette and you can slide it in right here and watch TV outside. So that's what this is. And then here you have the cable hookup. And on the other side, 
you're going to have the 110 with the USB ports. This little bracket right here is going to be for the feet of the awning, so you've got one on both sides of the door. Now you may have noticed that we have an off-road tire here, and that's because this trailer has the off-road package. Now the three things that come with the off-road package are going to be this nice alloy wheel with the off-road tread on it. It's also going to be the black diamond plate across the front as a rock guard and the three and a half inch lift. You have a three and a half inch lift that's going to give you more clearance under here because if you're getting off the pavement, you may have some gullies, some dips, and that's going to help you have more clearance. So this is the venting for the 16,000 BTU furnace that we talked about that has two ducts on the inside. Under here, this is a quick connect for the LP. Uh, so you can have a grill out here. You can hook into the LP system and set up an outside grill right here at the edge of your awning. Can you look under there as well and see that the spare tire is mounted underneath? Great place for it instead of hanging off the back so you don't have any clearance issues. We have a good pass-through storage here on the back. It's got plenty of space in here. You've got tools on the back. That's going to be your awning tool. You can see the casing for the uh, sewer hose storage on that side and a nice light so you can always see what you've stored under here. But one of the best things I think about this is that it has a slam latch on it. So when you close it, you don't have to latch it, you don't have to put a key in, it's going to latch. When you open it up, you've got a magnet here. No clips, just a magnet stick, and you're good to go. This trailer is equipped with stabilizer jacks on all four corners. And as you come around to the back, you'll notice that you've got this slim LED tail lights. Give it a nice style on the back. I love the graphic. It's a good time to talk about the one-piece roof because technically it's not a one-piece roof. It is a one-piece all the way from right here to the very front of the trailer. So you have one piece of fiberglass gel coat running all the way up the front, across the roof, and down the other side. Great for not having any seams. Don't have to worry about the water. Good solid structure. Two inch receiver right here in case you wanted to put an extra tray back here. You can put a bike rack in there, although there are bike racks available for the tongue of the trailer as well. Let's come around to the side. This is going to be the compartment for your sewer hose storage that we saw from inside the, the rear pass through. And this is the view of that pass-through from the other side. Now in front of that pass-through storage is an outside shower right here. We all love the outside showers. It has hot and cold water. Great for pets, kids, dishes, whatever you need to use it for. Moving forward, this is your 30 amp electrical cord. It is a removable cord, so you just undo the collar here that keeps it stable and unplug this. But on the cap, I love the way Furion puts their little light on it so you can tell if you have power coming through. It's a good indicator if you're having some trouble in your camper, you can see if there's power at your cord. Refrigerator vents on that four cubic foot refrigerator that we have on the inside. And up here, you've got your hookups for the cable, if they have the cable in the park. You've also got in here your water hookups for the city fill and to fill the tank. With this, you've got a 20-gallon fresh water tank. You have a 14-gallon gray tank and a 9-gallon black tank. All righty. This is going to be your water heater. And before we move around, let's get underneath. And this is where your sewer hookups are and your drain poles. 
right over there in front of the tire there you'll see all of the drains up here they have made some easy low point drains and all you have to do is turn the handles and you get the low point drain so lots of easy to reach features on this side which i think is really important before we go you've got another led porch light on this side that will light up this entire side of the trailer now something that we couldn't get a good view of so we'll try to get some still shots is on the rear of the trailer near the top there is some there is a uh, a pre-wire set up for a backup camera that's very easy to install and you've also got a 100 watt solar panel we'll try to get some shots of that for you because it's difficult for us to get those from the ground in the front this is going to be where your propane and the uh, battery is stored let me get around to the other side open that so we can get a shot of it you'll also notice right over there on the far side underneath the battery tray on the edge is a battery disconnect switch so if you're using this in storage you can just disconnect your battery right there at the switch and you're good to go and your battery won't drain all right let's close that latch electric uh, jack on the front and this is the diamond plate that we talked about so this is part of the off-road package nice rock guard on the front of it for you I love seeing this big window in the front it really sets the tone on the inside of the trailer now I know you're gonna have some questions I know we didn't cover everything so please give us a call here at Princess Craft and we'll be glad to help you this is PJ from Princess Craft RV thanks for watching mm -hmm.